Hello everybody, this is Mr. Dows. Uh, today I'm going to continue doing notes on the laws of exponents. So this is what I covered uh, in class uh, the last few days. Uh, this is going to be day three. Day one covered the um, power of one rule and power of one rule and the negative exponent rule. Uh, day two covered the product and quotient rules. And then today is going to cover the power to power rule. So power to power rule. So the idea is uh, when you have an expression, when you have an expression raised to a power write the base and multiply, I'm going to capitalize this, multiply uh, the exponent and the power. And so, uh, so let me explain this even more, uh, multiply, sorry. Multiply. I misspelled multiply. Sorry, put an L there. My bad. Sorry about that. All right. So the idea here is, is I have uh, some base raised to the power of m, or to an exponent of m, uh, and then I'm going to raise this whole expression to the power of n. And what we do is we just write the base, and then we multiply the exponent and the power. So that'd be m times n. And this is the general rule of thumb when it comes to the power to power rule. And by the way, uh, power and exponent can be used backwards or, in, or forwards. I mean, they can be used interchangeably. So if I have uh, x raised to the power of m, and all this is raised to the power of n, or I could say x uh, raised to the exponent of m, and all this is raised to the exponent of n, I can use those interchangeably. So I just want to say that. So I'm going to do a couple examples here, and then I'm going to just call it quits. Note should be re relatively short here. So the first example I have is, is q to the fifth power. All of that raised to the third power. And this is the same thing as q to the fifth power times 3. Again, I'm just following this little rule here, power to power. I'm multiplying one power to another. And this gets me q to the 15th power. And that is your answer. And another way of looking at this is, is if I had q to the fifth power raised to the third power, that's the same thing as saying q times its q to the fifth power times itself three times. And if I want to use the product rule, you would say we're going to add up all these exponents. Since all these have the same base, I'm going to add up all these exponents here. And that equals q to the fifteenth. And so the idea is. Um, you don't, this is a lot of extra work. Why do you want to go through all this work when you can just take the, um, both of these exponents or powers and multiply them by each other? So that's, that's the shortcut when it comes to the power to power rule, where it's just kind of a, a shortcut to the, the product rule. So if I look at a, another example here, I'm going to have uh, a to the negative 4 and all that squared. Now I need to think of PEMDAS here. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, I need to simplify what's in the parentheses first before I do anything with the exponents. So if I do the negative exponent rule, I'm going to take the reciprocal of the base, which would be 1 over a, and I'm going to switch the sign from a negative 4 to a positive 4 next to this a, and then I'm going to raise all that to the power of 2. And so what I need to do now is, is I need to raise 1 to the power of 2, and then a to the fourth to the power of 2, and simplify it. So this 1 here, there's an imaginary 1 right next to it. So I'm going to do 1 to the 1 times 2 and over a to the 4 times 2. Again, I'm just using the, um, the power to power rule here where I'm multiplying these, these powers together. And this just becomes 1 squared over a to the 8th. And 1 squared is just 1. And if you get comfortable with this, um, you'll realize there are shortcuts to this. In reality, I, I probably didn't need to do all this extra work here. I probably could have just gotten one much quicker. Uh, moving on to the next example, 
Uh, let's do the third example. I have x to the third power raised to 3. And so this is just going to be x to the third power times 3, which gets me x to the ninth power. So this is very similar to the first example. Just kind of bringing it back so you kind of remember what we're trying to do here. Fourth example I have is x times x squared raised to the fourth power. And so if I look at this problem here um, in PEMDAS, uh, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division, and addition, subtraction, uh, I'm not going to multiply these together just yet because that's multiplying. I need to deal with the exponent first. So uh, I can't simplify the parentheses. There's nothing to simplify, but I can do something with this exponent here. So this is going to end up being x times x squared times 4 because the power to power, we're going to multiply these, which is just x times x to the eighth. Now this is the product rule. I'm going to multiply these. This is an x to the first power. So when I multiply um, the same base that both have exponents, you end up actually adding the exponents. So this is x to the ninth power. And the idea here is, is I have one x here and I have eight x's here. 6, 7, and 8. So if I add all these together, I get a total of 9, 9 x's, which is why I have x to the ninth power. So I'm going to look at a example, another example here, 5. I have 1 half times m cubed, all of that cubed. And this is a tricky one. A lot of uh, my students are afraid of fractions. And understandably, we don't do them too often. Uh, but for these problems, we are going to do a couple. So again, I'm thinking of, uh, please excuse my dear and Sally, the uh, PEMDAS uh, order of operations, and I need to simplify what's in the parentheses first. Believe it or not, I can combine these. And so whenever I have a fraction and I'm multiplying it by something that's not a fraction, I always convert what's not a fraction into a fraction by just putting it over one. And whenever you multiply a fraction times a fraction, you multiply the numerator by the numerator, which would get me m cubed over the denominator by the denominator, which would get me 2, and all of that is going to be cubed. So now I'm going to apply the power to power rule, and I'm going to take m to the third power times 3, because again, we're multiplying a power times a power, so we, uh, we're raising a power to a power, so we're going to end up multiplying these. And then I'm going to have 2 to the third power. So everything inside the parentheses here uh, is being raised to a power of 3, not just the top or the bottom, it's everything. And so this simplifies down to m to the ninth over 8. And that would be your answer for number 5. Uh, I'm going to do a couple more here. Uh, number 6. Uh, I'm going to do a to the fourth power times x to the third power times y. All of that raised to a power of 3. And my goal is to simplify this. Um, I can't simplify anything in the parentheses. These all have different bases. So I'm going to apply the power to power rule. Keep, keep in mind here, this y has an imaginary 1 next to it. So this is really going to be a to the 4th times 3 times x to the 3rd times 3 times y to the 1 times 3. So all these exponents are going to be multiplied by this, this power outside of here. And this reduces down to a to the 12th, x to the 9th, and y to the 3rd. So that hopefully makes sense to you. Uh, number seven, uh, I'm going to do 2x cubed raised to the fourth power. And again, same idea here, except for I've got a, a coefficient in front. So whenever you have a coefficient, again, everything in the parentheses is going to be raised to a power of four here. So it's going to be 2 to the fourth power times x to the third to the fourth power. And I skipped a step here. Keep in mind, this 2 has like an imaginary 1 here. So 1 times 4 gets me 4. That's how I got 2 to the fourth. And then this can reduce down to 2 times itself 4 times gets me 16. And this gets me uh, x to the twelfth. Uh, and then just one more uh, example, just for the heck of it. Uh, let me just turn the page here. So I'm going to do it right here. Uh, I've got an eighth example, and then this will be the last one. I've got 3x squared over y to the third 
times z. All of that raised to the power of 2. And so everything in the parentheses here, first of all, I can't simplify the parentheses anymore, so I can't do anything with that. But everything inside the parentheses is going to be raised to a power of 2. Uh, and so I'm going to use the power to power rule on all four of these, the 3, the x squared, the y to the third, and the z. And I'm going to put a 1 next to the 3 and a 1 next to the z because those have an imaginary 1 there. So I'm going to have 3 to the 1 power times 2, x to the second power times 2, y to the third power times 2, and z to the first power times 2. And when I simplify this, this becomes 3 squared times x to the fourth over y to the sixth times z squared. And this 3 squared can become a 9. 9x nine to the fourth over y to the sixth times z to the second. And that would be how you simplify number 8. Anyways, I hope this helps, and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.